Hello and welcome. In today's part of the web series, we want to look at the benefits of being the smallest thermal goggles in the world. Thanks to its weights and compact design, the Tilo is also suitable for wearing as a monocular glasses, whether with a headband, on a base cap or on a tactical helmet. Almost everything is possible, but the Tilo also can be mounted on a weapon directly in front of the optics. More on this later on. Here we want to go into the different ways of wearing it directly on the head in front of your eyes and show the advantage of these options. Due to his compact size, it is of course a good idea to simply have the Tilo in your pocket and keep it on your eyes if needed. So it's a practical companion on a hunt or on surveillance in official use. But when you need your hands free, you have to wear it. First, there is the headband. It's equipped with a small bracket and uh, a articular arm where you can put the Tilo on and put it directly in front of your eye. The headband with the adapter bracket can be folded very small and do not take up much space in the back. Ideal if you carry the Tilo with you and want to wear it out quickly and easy while having both hands free to carry and use a weapon while hunting, for example. You can swivel the Tilo by 360 in order to position it precisely and appropriate in front of your eyes and, if necessary, turn it out of the field of view if you don't need it. The headband also allowed the positioning in front of the left and also in front of the right eye. But we will discuss which eye is best to use in a second. With around 100 to 130 grams, even a baseball cap wears the Tilo. And that's why Anders Industries now also has the Tilo cap. It's a baseball cap with a mounting option for the Tilo. And in this case, the helm mount adapter plate for the Tilo snaps into the peak of the cap. Wearing the Tilo this way, it can not be swiveled upwards or by side like with the head bands, but it's quite convenient. Especially since you can wear this cap very well in everyday civilian life without Tilo. A word about the best eye for using the Tilo with a head mount option. Most people are right-handed, almost always right dominant. It means that the right eye has the dominance in the image processing in the brain. You will then automatically hold the optic device, whether a telescopic sight, spotting scope, night vision or thermal in front of your dominant right eye. But if you want to observe with it and also move and walk, it's advisable to place the optics in front of the left the non-dominant eye. The opposite is true for left-handed people, of course, with left dominant eye. In authorities and military fields, the Tilo is best attached to a tactical helmet. Nowadays, these modern helms are no longer only used to protect against shrapnel and projectiles. They also platform for certain resources, such as a lamp, as a flashing identification light, um, hearing protection with the communication device and so on. And in particular, the night vision technology. If the night vision device or a night observation device called NOT in form of a light amplifier is part of the basic equipment for special forces. A thermal imaging device is an invaluable addition to the night vision capability, especially because you can also use them during the daytime. Here we have installed a PVS-14 monocular knot on the right side of the helmet and the Tilo-6 on the left side. This means that both technologies can be used individual or both together. 
The Tilo can be attached to the tactical helms in two ways. One is the standard shroud, which can normally be attached to a knot. Actually, every tactical helmet has such a shroud. And for this, there is the special Tilo helmet shroud adapter with a small swivel arm, which the Tilo can be placed in front of the right eye. But as already explained, the alignment of the Tilo in front of the dominant eye is not always optimal. In the tactical environment, weapons are always used. The aiming eye, as I described before, um, it's usually the right eye for right-handed people. And this should not be covered by the thermal image device. Because with the thermal device, you cannot see through glass because the infrared radiation cannot penetrate it. So it's not possible to look and aim through a daylight optics as we used to be with a night vision device. The better way to attach the Tilo to a combat helm is the specific helm mount. This is attached with a clip over the helm edge on the left side of the helm and can be precisely aligned to the face and the individual eye distance of the operator. To do this, loosen the two small screws on the clamp until it fits over the edge of the helm. Then they are tightened again. If you have a thinner helm wall, like you find it on a bump helm, you can use this kind of spacer, which fills the gap to fit tight. It is not necessary to pierce the helm, which is very important for ballistic protection. If the Tilo is not in use, it can simply be folded up and rotate 180 degrees. And as I already showed on the headband, can be safely stowed away or used as a headlamp. Depending on the application scenario, the knot, the night vision device or the thermal device can be used. For example, the PVS-14 is always almost useless during the day. Reconnaissance of a camouflage person would be very possible with a Tilo. There are units in special commands in Europe that appreciate exactly this combination and use it that way. After we show the possibility of directly mounting the Tilo in front of the user's eyes, in the next part we will show the possibility of using it directly on a weapon. For this, stay tuned, be safe, it will stay exciting.